Well, hello. Is my uh, voice coming through okay? Yeah, sounds great. Morning, James. Good morning. Good morning. How are you doing? Very good. Excellent. <laughs> How are you? I'm very good. I've uh, I just had two croissants, um, and I have a banana uh, gazing at me, waiting to be consumed. And I think that is that is all one needs for a, an active hackathon morning. Nice. And coffee. And a bit of singing. <laughs> and a bit of singing. Well, you know, maybe later. Maybe later. <laughs> I'll keep that treat um, for people. Uh, all right, well, let's give it a, another minute or so for others to come in. Welcome, everyone. Um, thank you very much for joining. Uh, we'll just give another minute for a couple of stragglers, um, and then we'll get going with the, uh, the intro remarks. Um, you've all heard about my breakfast. Uh, that's obviously exciting in and of itself. Um, I hope you've all had lovely breakfasts. Uh, usually, I don't eat breakfast, but, you know, on a day like today, today is a breakfast day. <laughs> um, good. I see we have people joining from all over. I've seen people coming in from India, Indonesia, um, California, various people in the UK, just like us. So it's all pretty exciting. Right, okay. Well, why don't we begin? Uh, do you want to, are we, oh, we're already recording, Teresa. Excellent, so my, my breakfast choices have been recorded for posterity. Very good, very good. Well, on that note, everyone, um, welcome uh, formally to the first day of Hack From Home. It's a pleasure to have you with us. I'm delighted that you're here um, and going to be joining us for our, our weekend of green energy and personal data innovation. Um, I first would like to begin with really a note about the event, who we are, what we're trying to do, why we brought you all here today, um, and hopefully some of the outputs that we're going to achieve. So this event is, uh, as you will have gathered from having signed up a hackathon, um, we're trying to uh, explore the uses of personal data in decarbonization, particularly user-owned and de uh, decentralized personal data. You know, this is, the central insight behind this is as we try and achieve our net zero goals, lots and lots of changes going to have, have to have to happen. Some of these will be regulatory. Uh, a lot of these will be large industrial processes changing, but in very large areas, a lot of the change will have to come from, from us, from ordinary consumers and individuals and the businesses that interface with these. So we're trying to work out with this event uh, and with our ongoing program of energy research is how we can drive behavioral change among individuals that will lead to decarbonization. That will excite them to decarbonize, that will make it profitable to decarbonize, and will generally incentivize decarbonize through various uh, systems that will form. So that's what this event is all about. It's an exercise in collective intelligence, all about getting you guys together, showing your infrastructure, showing you the ideas, uh, showing you some of the interesting use cases of data and decarbonization, and just working out what is the art of the possible? What can we do here if we had the resources, the means, uh, and the the energy uh, to really drive it forward. So I'm very excited to see what you guys come up with. A quick note about ourselves. Um, so uh, as you can see on the uh, logo there, hopefully it's the right way around for you because it's definitely backwards for me. Uh, we are DataSwift. DataSwift is a deep tech company operating out of Cambridge, UK. Uh, not Cambridge, Massachusetts, uh, which always gets our American uh, colleagues and partners confused. I'd like to firmly say Cambridge, England, um, but never mind, never mind. That, that's a separate conversation. Um, what we do is provide an infrastructure for personal data management. What that means is uh, we have created a, a revolutionary new technology system that enables ownership of personal data by individuals. We provide individuals with something called a personal data account, which is a store in the cloud equipped with computational capacities into which they can flow their data, hold it, exchange it with third parties, second and third parties if they so wish, and generally be empowered uh, with this. Now we believe that there are a whole range of uh, use cases for this in energy. So we're very excited to um, have that explored this weekend. I'd like to talk a little bit more about the purposes of the event. 
So we've already mentioned, you know, that this is an exercise in collective intelligence and that we're looking for uh, decarbonization, um, innovations around decarbonization. I think for us, it's, uh, it's been really exciting to see as we've been researching the energy world over the last little while um, and learning more about it and our own infrastructure, it's really exciting to see this, you know, the themes uh, that are currently, pre that, that we see present on the consumer side of the energy world. So some of the things we're going to be exploring in this hackathon are citizen empowerment, uh, this whole idea of the energy consumer. You know, what happens when an individual energy consumer is empowered with control of their own energy resources and is empowered with control of their own energy data? This is a shift we're already seeing happen, you know, as we have uh, more and more decentralized grids, smarter grids, uh, household photovoltaic technologies, uh, household energy storage. You know, what does that mean for the energy system for business models that might arise? The second is community decarbonization. How can communities be empowered to take control of their own uh, journey towards net zero? How can they be empowered both with uh, you know, the actual physical resources um, of renewable technologies and storage and with the digital resources of their community-wide data to drive effective change? This is something we're also very interested in this hackathon. I'm particularly excited by uh, concepts of data trust and peer-to-peer -peer energy trading, which some of you guys have advanced and looking forward to exploring. The third sort of meta theme is that of, uh, well, market making, we might call it. You know, because if we're going to successfully decarbonize, we need to really incentivize change. We need to get people collectively to make the decisions that will make a difference. Now, there are many ways of doing this, of course. Uh, regulation is incredibly important and can drive uh, changes in all sorts of ways, as done throughout history. But a core one, a very powerful one, the one which upon really the entire modern world is built, is that of the market. How can we make it valuable, commercially and non-commercially valuable, for individuals to want to decarbonize and for businesses to want to help individual, businesses and communities to want to help people effectively decarbonize and get others to decarbonize. So we're looking at these uh, economic mechanisms. I'm very excited to hear ideas that you guys have around that. I'd like to mention as well, um, one of the other purposes behind why we're here. So, you know, as a deep tech business, I have a very strong research heritage at Data Cities. Uh, we regularly participate in research grants. And that's actually one of the things that's led us to being here today. So with our partners, the Eastern New Energy Project, which is a ERDF uh, funded project operating in, in England, we are currently exploring the barriers and levers of decarbonization in Eastern England. As part of that, we've created this hackathon in order to crowdsource collective intelligence on what that might look like. So this is, you know, everything that you do, all the ideas you come up with, the innovations that you make, the learnings uh, that you guys derive for yourselves uh, and as a, as a collective will have a direct impact upon the progress of um, the decarbonization work in Eastern England. And I think that's something very exciting that everyone should bear in mind. And of course, you know, naturally, uh, you guys are very international. Our team is very international. We're actually scattered across the world working remotely. Uh, any of the lessons that we learn and can be applied to Eastern England can, of course, go to other geographies and other jurisdictions. So, you know, this really is global in scope um, in everything we do. And, you know, I think that's part of the, the real excitement. So I'd like to make a quick note on format. Um, now, obviously, as, as you will have noted, uh, it is a, a two day event. We're on the first day. Um, the event is structured as a competition, as we you know, felt this is the, the most exciting way of getting people engaged. So the first part of today is really just about setting you guys up for success. It's helping you get into your teams. It's helping the team leads uh, who will be really managing the teams and communicating with us. It's them having their kickoff meeting, their scope meeting for the ideas. It's giving you the tools you need uh, to do well. There'll then be various sessions throughout today and tomorrow uh, designed to help you think through your ideas. Uh, give developer support for people who are interested in our infrastructure, generally answer any ideas you might have. And all of this is progressing towards uh, two things, really, on Sunday night. The first is uh, a show and tell session uh, in front of uh, our resident entrepreneurial dragon, Professor Irene Hung. And that is a chance for you to uh, really show other participants, as well as Professor Hung, who's a successful entrepreneur, uh, your idea and have it sort of challenged and tested and 
you know, be exchanged on. It's designed to be a fun way of everyone learning what everyone else has been up to and sharing ideas. At the end of the weekend, on Sunday night, I said it mistakenly is a different night, but it's very much Sunday night. Um, I want to re-emphasize that here. Sunday night, not another night. On Sunday night at uh, 2359, uh, we'll be asking you to submit your completed project ideas. So this is a slide deck um, and a, a video explaining the slide deck. I'll have a session on this if you guys later, so I'll explain it a bit more. And that then goes to uh, the judges. So the judges will then have a look at the work you created over the following week, and then you know the winner will be announced. And the winner uh, will be offered a prize of a value of five thousand pounds. So it's you know pretty exciting uh, little thing to participate in, and you guys can share it out amongst your team after that. So that's the competition. We've mentioned that. Um, now, I've mentioned to you a couple of times our research heritage, uh, you know, as a, as a, a university spin out ourselves from Cambridge and Warwick, um, education and inspiration and research remains very important to us. So as part of that, what we've done is we've created something called the expert stage. This is a parallel track of content uh, alongside the main events, where we're in a group of experts, some academics, some practitioners will be talking to you uh, about various elements of the energy transition, personal data and energy, uh, that we believe will help uh, inspire and enthuse you in your ideas, both at the hackathon and more generally. So you're very, very welcome to come and join these. One of the things I emphasize is all of the um, uh, calendar content that we put up is completely optional to attend. So you, you, know, you won't be forced to attend. You guys are going to be very, very busy um, uh, with your hackathon ideas, of course, but it's, it's an option, it's there to, you know, inspire and excite so you know please do join um i will be hosting uh all day uh, for both days uh on that on that stage so it'd be great to have you with us um if you are free and interested now the other facet on the format i want to flag is uh, i've already mentioned that it's team lead led and i just want to flag that again so what that means is is um we operate with a decentralized ethos here in data so, you know we're a remote first company um, we uh, operate in a decentralized way internally and we're running, we're all about technology decentralization. We reflect that in how we organize this event. So what we're going to do is with all of the project ideas, um, I already have or shortly have a team lead. The team lead will be the primary point of communication of ours. Um, what the team lead will do is they will lead with setting up, uh, you know, a, project, a project scope meeting and various other meetings with you guys all through the week, the week, the weekend. Um, and then we will interact with them to sort of send messages up or down. Now, of course, you're very welcome to contact us. Uh, you can see who we are because we all have on Slack, you know, our name and then organize next to us. You're very free to, to message us um, with any questions, queries, complaints, uh, random catch gifs that you might have. Um, but in the first point, you know, first port of call is the team lead um, for all of these organizing facets. Uh, and Teresa will be talking to you guys more through that that in 15 minutes or so. Um, so that's the uh, team lead side of things. I'd really emphasize on that. It's just, it'd be important, you know, to, for you guys to organize a, a first meeting um, for the next couple of hours, just to work out who, introduce yourselves to each other, work out who you are, um, and really, you know, start ideating on the idea that you want to have. And, uh, you know, you'll be able to take it from there. Um, in terms of the agenda, you guys will have already seen the agenda. Uh, I would urge you to just keep an eye on it throughout the day in case there's any changes. We'll, be, we'll obviously notify you over the general channel on Slack uh, if there are any changes. Um, but that really shows you uh, all of the different, you know, help sessions that we have, expert stage sessions, um, and you know, the timings of everything. It's all on British standard time, of course. Um, but uh, yeah, it's just there to, to help you keep an eye on it. I mentioned tooling a couple of times about explaining it explicitly, so I'll do so now. Um, the two primary tools that we'll be using uh, at this event are Zoom and Slack. Zoom for the video calls, as you guys would have realized because you've actually all logged into Zoom and are here listening to me, uh, and then Slack for, for the rest. So um, everything will be taking place on Slack. We'll be putting you into your separate teams uh, as channels on Slack. We have public and private channels um, uh, to communicate publicly and then with your individual groups. There's various different uh, Slack channels for things like developer support or ask me anything for the speakers and for anyone else. Uh, and 
you know, random if you have, you know, any articles or fun things you want to share. So it'll all take place on Slack. Now, as for how you wish to communicate internally from the teams, that's up to you. Um, but obviously, Zoom and Slack are the things there. If you have any other platforms, feel free. But, um, you know, we're already offering Zoom and Slack, so, you know, it might be best to keep that. Now, there's uh, various other things, but the most important thing I want to flag to you all is just to really have fun. You know, this is going to be an exciting weekend. Um, a lot going on. Heavily caffeinated, at least on our side already. Um, I think we're going to learn a lot, get to know one another, uh, get to know the ideas, uh, and hopefully come up with some innovations that will drive some serious change. On that note, I want to flag, you know, the very real impact that these hackathons have had before. Um, the event that we ran last year, April of last year, uh, uh, our COVID-19 hack from home, as we now call it, uh, that event actually led to two commercial applications coming out of it and six academic papers. So it's very important, you know, it, we're not saying that you have to create these things, but there is a real opportunity for, um, for actual long-term benefit and long-term change from the things that you come up, come up with over this weekend. And, you know, if you're there and excited by the project, we'll do everything after the event to um, help make your vision uh, become a reality. So that's it from me. Um, I think the next session is Teresa uh, talking you guys a bit more through team formation and how to how to get yourselves going as, as in this remote hackathon. I'll then be speaking after that on the judging criteria. Um, and then, you know, we check up on the, the hackathon schedule. We have various uh, exciting things from the expert stage and our own internal talks on after that. Thank you very much. Um, are there any questions for me whilst we're here? Um. James, there is one question. If I'm interested in using DataSwift in my project, how do I do it? What are the steps? Who to talk to? And is there a course or documentation? Yes, yes, good question. Thanks very much. Um, so uh, there's a few different ways. Uh, there is a course link. We've already created a course for you. Um, Teresa, perhaps that could be reshared on general now. Um, because I don't know who it was that asked that question. Uh, the other thing you can do after checking out that course is to um, go to the developer help desk uh, as that's where our internal dev resources will be hanging out for the weekend ready to ask you questions. The other thing will be happening is that we'll be having a couple of sessions today uh, explaining, um, you know, giving tutorials uh, on top of the, the, you know, the online courses that we have. Uh, so those are at uh, 12 today, first of our CTO Gus. Uh, and then at six today with our senior engineer, Ty, um, explain these things in more detail. Great, that's it. Then we'll see you again in 10 minutes. Uh, there's one other thing. Um, so we have a, uh, something I want to flag. There's, we have a very, very exciting resource um, with us, uh, which is called IoT Nation. So IoT Nation is one of our partners um, and they're offering 10 free days of use to their market intelligent platform to any participants, mentors and judges, which means you can really research IoT related companies and use cases and contacts. So if you guys are uh, interested in particularly IoT focused tooling for your, um, well, sorry, particular IoT focused use cases and systems for your idea, which I know some of you are because, you know, being energy and device is quite important then uh, I think this could be a useful thing to be for you. Um, we'll put out the link to IoT Nation on Slack shortly, and please uh, ping me if you have any more questions about the use of that resource. Great, all right guys, well, um, I think that's it. I look forward to uh, hosting you more throughout the weekend. I'm very excited to be uh, spending it with you guys. Thanks very much. Thanks James. Okay, bye-bye.